Hi there, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're here with a bonus for you. This is going to be your extended 15th to the 31st of the month read. This is going to be a monthly tarot reading. And so we're looking at each of the days of October. This is going to encompass an eclipse in the sign of Taurus, really close to Aries. And um, we just recently had an eclipse. We just had the, uh, the 14th of October there. Um, Libra eclipse. So let's jump in. We are going to clean up here from Aquarius' this reading. Um, let's return to center. I'm not about that. We're going to clear the energy, okay, in here. Thank you so much, everyone, for your tuning in and your divine support. So, Capricorn, I was working with your energy um, right before getting into this video, and I'm getting that you feel kind of like you're being criticized for something. Like, there's something of this, like, weird pressure. Um, but it's like, you can't tell, um, it, it, like, people are not openly talking about whatever this is with you, but you can sort of feel it, like, maybe you're even suspecting that, you know, some people here are sort of talking about you behind possibly your back. Um, there could be a Scorpio involved. Some of you, you're feeling that you're sabotaging a situation, possibly. We have three fives. I'm going to see what this is about. We have Leo as well. Yeah, some of you feel like you sabotage a situation and um, it's really bothering you. Like I feel for some of you, it's on your mind at least. Here comes that three of swords in reverse. And um, we saw this three of swords in Aquarius's reading. Um, you may be dealing with an Aquarius. You may be an Aquarius. Um, there's something that is awkward. I'm here in awkward, but it's not, um, it's not working. Like, okay, so there's clearly something that's not working. I'm seeing chocolate chip cookies. Some of you it could be a partnership dynamic, like someone you're working with. But let's see here further. Um, hmm. There's a lot of people here. Mother of Pentacles and the Son of Pentacles landing on the Three of Swords. Someone feels that you are avoiding them. I'm hearing that as well. And like, maybe you feel them feeling... You feel them feeling that you're avoiding them. Does that make sense? Like, you um, you don't want to deal with this, though. That's what I'm hearing. Like, maybe um, hmm, you recently hung out with someone and the way that you, like, separated was very... Um, it was maybe different than it usually... Yeah, there's something going on. Um, I'm here in Aries and Aquarius. Give me a sec. I do want to get another deck here. Um, Someone feels somebody is lying about something as well. Maybe you feel that someone feels you're lying, King Wands. I just, I see two white doves there and a lady wearing a hat that's exactly this turquoise color. Um, you kind of, I'm seeing turquoise, absolutely rare. And purple. Another white dove right there. And I see a white van with tinted windows. Oh my. So, um, you maybe feel someone is like framing you or something strange. Um... I'm here in Holland and Oslo, and I see, um, I'm here in Reggie, I'm here in Ren, Renny, Rent, Renting, as well. somebody maybe is, um, we're gonna get into it, what's, I'm seeing purple, Ace of Pentacles, I was just gonna say someone is maybe prying into your personal business, something about a place that you're renting or somewhere that you move to, they want to know if you're renting or owning, I see, um, Harvard and Maroon right there, I wanted to say that. The hangman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some of you, you're um 
For you, Capricorn, I'd like to get into your next six months. There goes the Three of Swords. Someone is trying to sort of create a bit of a situation for you. Um, they know it. They're not, they're not like, yeah, you're, you know, I feel you know it. Like, this person is not dumb, okay? Like, you're, hi, you're not, you're not dumb, and I know you're not dumb. Like, you're cr trying to create, though, a situation where I'm going to look some sort of way. Yeah, this person is definitely, um, they're being kind of, um, some of you, this is a coworker. You guys even possibly are have a startup together. I see you guys um, even working on something in a kitchen. I see you guys are working on um, this um, project. Okay, yeah, something is getting extremely awkward. Like you just cannot even anymore. I'm hearing you can't be around this person. You can't like. You just cannot. Like, I just keep hearing that you can't stand something. I don't know. There's something with the energy. I'm going to get a long-term spread for you, Capricorn. I'm hearing Alyssa. And I see a woman with um, the devil colors, black and red, uh, hair dyed. <sighs> that five of pentacles in the same position. Yeah, something is going downhill and you know it's like, I got to jump ship. Like, this is not, this is not my future. I'm hearing that. Someone is framing you. Like, they're, ugh, this is weird. Chariot. <laughs> Page of Wands, yeah. I don't know the extent for everybody, but for some of you, it may even be dangerous. There could be money involved. There goes the devil right there in the theme. Capricorn, uh, red and black. Some of you feel like someone is sort of... Yeah. Um, I would say release this as soon as possible because it's just going to get more challenging to find a middle ground with this person there is no such thing as middle ground probably dealing with a narcissist um it's not about finding middle ground i think it's just a matter of just cutting your so-called losses and letting this person know that you you don't need to understand what their thought was with that back there i'm hearing um something about a screenplay I'm hearing there is a mix-up. There's no mix-up. I feel for some of you here, but you always take as you want. See someone with bad... Like, you have... You're, some of you, you're getting tips. The birds are going crazy right there. That you cannot trust somebody. And I would absolutely trust yourself on that. Okay? We'll see you in the next...